So the video all starts here with Lucy, an individual who presents themselves as Lucy. This Lucy would talk to Blue Bible and call her Sweetie and would write good messages and goodbye, Sweetie, good night. And everyone really, she was an upstanding character. And then Lucy found love with a player moderator. And quickly they, they married in a RuneScape ceremony, and every day we had the great public displays of affection filling the chat, until suddenly a disaster. It was discovered that Lucy is a, is a man, and Unquo was confronted. And where was Lou during all this? He was kicking people out for saying that Lucy was a man. This story ends like many stories end in the Blue Bible Discord, this overtly homosexual trio in this Discord server and Christian chat who is very strong against the gays, quite curiously. It was all swept under the rug, and those who spoke about it, those who brought it up, were also swept under the rug. And that went on for a few months. And then uh, reformers took over it. And um, just generally, you can see that um, the whole chat has um, got angel ranks. So uh, you get to be a, an angel that's closer and closer to the throne of God, the higher rank up, ranked up you get. And um, you have these like impossible demands. And if you don't conform, then you are just kicked out. If you express any sort of individuality, or any kind of differing opinion, then you're kicked out. And um, there is no understanding of your own emotions if you're if you're in there, because essentially uh, Blue is this uh, dead kind of narcissist who worships nothing, who has all these uh, abuses that he allows constantly all the time. He even abuses the the RuneScape game with his bots and all that, getting them banned. But um, aside from that. Uh, loads of people get horribly, horribly gaslighted and uh, uh, religiously uh, smacked with, uh, you know, hammers of uh, you're a sinner and all that. Any any expression of individuality is shunned. Any expression of truth and, and actually walking with with truth and following logic and uh, is given the uh, you given the given the slip. And the problem is, is that he can't face. Um, himself he can't face that he is a worshiper of nothing that he has found himself in that nothing and therefore became his own god because in that nothing was was him um and he, so he must be god then and uh he has to deal with all of the abuse that he's allowed he's not able to see that all the openly gay stuff that went on between ungapur lucid and him all the intensely abusive, truth-hating, Bible-bashing, uh, universalist-loving, uh, sensuality-defending, uh, projecting, just general, lame, snake-adhering abuse and sensuality, like, it was just, just didn't stop. He has to have this adaptation in order to deal with all of that. He has to throw it all into nothing, and, and, and everyone's invited to join in. You know, it's like, uh, he's a bit like a, a deist or a large boat, and the mods are those that invoke him or steer the ship. So basically, when there is nothing, then it turns into a sensuality, and sensuality becomes king. Whether that's spiritual sensuality, and you get Bible porn and Bible jerking, or, you know, a bit of Bible raping, Bible bashing, and Bible Bible beating. Um, or you just get a bunch of like anime photos, uh, you get open public displays of affection between, uh, men, you get just like rampant lies of like, that they're married when there's, it's just on RuneScape. It's like the ultimate OSRS girlfriend, the ultimate one has been manifested in this, in, in this discord, like the ultimate pit. This person was lying for so long and, uh, it gets, it gets, um, this pit get, finds itself in the supposedly most righteous uh, group possible, which is a damn shame because it could be so much more.